everyone! I'm Miss Glenn's from the Yuma Main Library and today we're going to be doing an amazing STEM activity. We're going to be growing crystals. Ooh, sparkly! You can do this activity with the children's STEM kit provided by the Yuma County Library. Watch through the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can get your own kit. However, the cool thing about this activity is that you don't have to have the exact materials. You can substitute items and still have an amazing result. For this activity, you'll need a mason jar or other container, a pipe cleaner, or you can use a string, Epsom salt, a popsicle stick or pen or pencil, water, and a measuring cup. So what is the secret to creating crystals so fast? In this experiment, we're creating a super saturated solution with the dry chemical, the Epsom salt in this case, and the hot water. So what's a super saturated solution? Super saturation is when a solution contains more of the dissolved material, the Epsom salt, than can be dissolved by the solvent, the water, under normal circumstances. The circumstance we change in this experiment is that we heat the water. By heating the water, more of the dry chemical can dissolve than it could in cold water. Why? Well, hot water molecules move faster than cold water molecules, so we have the molecules bumping into the salt more, which help to break and dissolve it. Now, as the liquid cools, the water molecules slow down and move closer together. This leaves less room for the dissolved salt, so salt crystals will start to precipitate or separate from the water and crystallize on your creation and in the jar. As the salt precipitates, it will continue to stack on top of each other and crystallize on your creation until you remove it from the water. The crystallization process is called nucleation. So by simply adding a lot of salt to the hot water until the salt can no longer dissolve, we're able to make a super saturated solution. The more saturated the solution, the faster the crystals will form. By using enough salt, Visible crystals can form in under an hour. With less, it could take a week. First, we'll need a pipe cleaner. You can create any shape you like. It can be a simple scrunch or something more complex like your first initial. Have fun with it! Just two things to remember when you create your shape. Make sure that it can fit into the jar without touching the sides or bottom. This is so it'll be easier to get the pipe cleaner out of the jar without breaking any of the crystals that form on it. And leave enough of the pipe cleaner so that it can hook onto the popsicle stick. If you don't have a pipe cleaner or popsicle stick, you can still use a piece of string or pen and pencil. Next, you'll need to get an adult, a measuring cup, and water. Measure one third cup of water and have an adult heat the water in a pot on the stove or in a microwavable container in the microwave. The water doesn't need to boil, it just needs to be hot. Remember to be cautious around hot water and to have the adult handle it. Now, have the adult pour the hot water into the mason jar or container and carefully add the six tablespoons of Epsom salt into the hot water. You can substitute with table salt, sugar, or borax if you don't have Epsom salt. If you like, you can add food coloring as well. Gently stir the salt with a spoon or other mixing utensil until the salt is completely dissolved. Next, place your pipe cleaner in the jar using the popsicle stick to suspend it in the solution. Make sure that your creation is covered in the water because that is where the crystals will form. Place your jar where it won't be moved you can have the adult help since the jar will be hot. Crystals can start forming within a few hours and will be finished within a few days. After you complete your experiment, why not try changing some of the variables and see what you get? 
As mentioned before, you can use sugar, borax, or table salt instead of Epsom salt. Will you need more than six tablespoons? Try adding more. And do the crystals still look the same? Or instead of a pipe cleaner, try a feather or leaf. What happens? Do the crystals still form on these objects? Now, how do you get your own STEM kit? You need to have a kit at home under the age of 12. The teen department is offering their own kit, so make sure you check out their video if you have a teen. Next, you can head over to the nearest branch offering curbside pickup. STEM kits will be available for curbside pickup starting June 30th. Check the library website for the regular curbside days and hours at the branch nearest you. When you arrive, call the designated pickup number and ask for a children's crystal STEM kit. Kits will include a mason jar, pipe cleaners, a popsicle stick, and a bag of Epsom salt. Please remember that supplies are limited and are on a first come basis. Also, please take our survey after you complete your experiment. Remember to check out our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay updated on what's happening at the library. And let us know what you made by taking a picture and sharing it on our Facebook page or Instagram account. I can't wait to see your amazing creations.